Well, here we are in a post-trid, post-Dodd-Frank, in a post-CFB world, and wouldn't you know it, it's pretty jacked up. I mean, let's be real for a minute. The government has made a real mess of this industry and the fallout continues. Every originator watching right now knows exactly what I'm talking about. If you're a realtor or a consumer watching, let me just explain what the what is going on here. Now, here's what happened just this week. Wells Fargo, the nation's largest lender, got fined an unprecedented amount by FHA. $1.2 billion, that's $1.2 billion with a B dollars. Now, this isn't a story about Wells Fargo and their massive fine, but remember that as we go on because that's a huge fine and if I'm Wells Fargo, that's probably gonna leave a sour taste in my mouth in regards to FHA to say the least. Not to be outdone, Chase was also in the news speaking openly and honestly about the mortgage biz. Chase is also one of the nation's biggest mortgage lenders, so when they speak, we should all listen. Jamie Dimon, their CEO, came out and flat out questioned why the bank is still in the mortgage business. Dimon is quoted as saying, the mortgage business can be volatile and has experienced increasingly low returns and new regulations added both sizable costs and higher capital requirements. In addition, it's not just the cost of the new rules in origination and servicing, it's the enormous complexity of those new requirements that can lead to problems and errors. Dimon continues, it's now virtually impossible not to make some mistakes and as you know, the price for making an error is very, very high. Now, before we move on, Chase and Wells Fargo speaking out against the mortgage business is like Nike and Adidas speaking out against the shoe business. It's a big deal. Yikes. Diamond and Chase wrapped up by stating FHA lending is just too costly and too risky to pursue. Again, that's like Phil Knight of Nike coming out and saying, yeah, we're just not going to make Jordans anymore. Yeah, kind of a big deal. And oddly enough, Wells and Chase aren't the only ones. Quicken Loans has also been in the news fighting with FHA. Remember this headline? United States sues Quicken Loans for FHA loan violations. Well, at least they're fighting back. They were talking about quitting FHA loans entirely. The point is, and this is something we should all be paying attention to, is the nation's largest lenders are finally pushing and fighting back. TRID. Dodd-Frank and the CFPB have built a hostile lending environment that is virtually impossible to comply with and originate loans in. Now, I'm not trying to pick a fight with the US government nor the CFPB and some of these guidelines needed to be put into place, but once again, we have way overcorrected. And what concerns me is that we don't seem to be learning from our mistakes. We overcorrected in 2010, we overcorrected in 2012, and here we are overcorrecting still in 2016 in the BS and the government red tape is so big and vast that lenders in the industry are starting to call it quits. And small lenders, don't get excited like you just lost a major competitor because most of those loans you originate at a local level end up in Chase and Wells Fargo's portfolio anyways. So if they go bye-bye, so does most of your lending options. It's a big deal and it's not good for anyone. And it's all starting to come to a head as the CFPB was also in the news this week. Check this headline out. The appeals court questions constitutionality of the CFPB and attacks Director Cordray. Say what? This was in response to yet another large lender fighting back. PHH and the CFPB are going at it in appeals court right now. Check this out. Judge Brett Kavanaugh repeatedly questioned the CFPB's single director structure, calling it very problematic that such a powerful official was able to make a decision that aimed to overturn a practice that was long seen by companies as acceptable. You are concentrating huge power in a single person and the president has no power over it, Judge Kavanaugh said. Damn! This is big news. All of it is. Everything we talked about today is huge. Wells Fargo's $1.3 billion fine will have major ramifications. We just haven't seen them yet. We will. Chase and Jamie Dimon's comments are huge and that remains to be seen how that will play out. Quicken and PHH fighting back is equally big and important. The CFPB getting called out like a pre-fight UFC interview is massive and this court case should be watched. Guys, whether you know it or not, this is a heavyweight fight going on in the background and I for one got my popcorn and can't wait to see who wins. I love this industry and I would love to get back to a healthy place with all this nonsense. We have to get this right and get it right in a hurry. This industry is massive and it drives our national economy. There's just too much at stake to get this wrong. Hey, share this with somebody that cares and we'll see you guys next week.